Good day. I'm going to uh, discuss plumbing, concepts and uh, principles of uh, plumbing and uh, sanitary system. Plumbing, definition, the art and science of uh, installing pipes, fixtures, and uh, other apparatus to convey and supply water in buildings and to dispose and discharge wastewater and other liquids, gases, and other substances out of uh, buildings in a safe, orderly, healthy, and uh, sanitary way to ensure the health and uh, sanitation of uh, life and property. The plumbing system is uh, it includes all uh, potable water supply and uh, distribution of pipes, all plumbing fixtures and traps, also by and storm drainage system, vent pipes, roof drains, leather, and uh, downspouts, and all uh, building drains and sewers, including their respective joints and connections, devices receptacles and appurtenances where in the uh, property water lines in premises potable uh, water treating or using equipment fuel gas piping water heater and vents for sink objective of uh, plumbing to supply water and other fluids and or uh, substances required into uh, the uh, different parts of a building. To remove and discharge uh, human waste and other substances out of a building into the uh, public uh, sewer or septic tank. Water storage and uh, distribution system water is uh, defined a combination of uh, two elements called hydrogen and oxygen appears in its uh, natural state of liquid or solid as ice or gas water vapor or stream in its uh, liquid form is uh, 839 times heavier than air, 133 times lighter than air in its gaseous state or vapor, weighs uh, 3.77 kilograms per US gallons of uh, 1000 kilograms per cubic meter. Three sources of water, rainwater, natural surface water from streams and rivers, and uh, underground water. Water main refers to the public uh, water connection, which are laid underground along the streets where the house service is connected. The uh, water service pipe is connected or tapped to the water main by uh, authorized uh, personnel only. Tapping of water supply service requires the use of uh, corporation cap, curb cock, meter stop, and water meter. Other water service fittings and devices which are corporation stop inserted into the water main and serves as a control of the water service curb stop installed between the curb and the sidewalk line accessible to cast iron stop box equipped with removable cover it serves as a control stop of the 
service between the curb and buildings. It shuts off uh, water supply in case the basement is flooded. Curb stop box. Meter stop, a controlling stop of the entire water supply in building. Water meter is a device used to measure the amount of water that passes through the water service. So these are the different uh, parts of the water main. This is the water main or the water source, the um, corporation stop. This is the loop which is actually in the form of a gooseneck. The curb stop. This is the pipe. The, the water meter. Stop and waste. So, meaning this is the control already. And uh, this is already the property line of uh, individual households that uh, the uh, water service is catering. Plumbing disposal system. Sewage uh, disposal types. The oldest uh, form is the cesspool. A hole in the ground curb with stones, brick, concrete hollow blocks, or other materials laid in such a manner as to allow raw contaminated sewage to leach into the soil. The organic waste accumulate and finally dispose of by disintegration process. Privy is a concrete seal vault with a wooden shelter constructed for the collection of uh, raw sewage and disintegration of excrement is accomplished in the same manner as the cesspool. Septic tank is a device or a receptacle used to expedite the decomposition of the elements contained in a raw sewage waste. Raw sewage consists of uh, water and settleable solid called organic materials that can be uh, precipitated in septic tank in a very short time. Public sewer in line, a public uh, sewage uh, system operated and maintained by the government consisting of a sewage treatment plants that conveys the raw sewage from buildings to a disposal system. Classification, common or combination public sewer, the oldest type that conveys both storm and uh, sanitary waste. It is already obsolete and is not allowed by sanitary authorities. Sanitary sewer is a public sewer facility that carries regular sanitary waste. It uh, terminates in a uh, modern sewage dispersal plant. Rainwater is uh, not permitted in this type. Storm drain carries storm water and terminates in a natural drain such as canals, lakes, or rivers. Manual is a device of the main and storm sewer and serves as man's access for inspection, cleaning, and repair. Septic tank. It has two chambers. Digestion chamber is the solid matter. It is uh, reduced in sizes and consequently change in character. A septic tank has a digestive uh, chamber that uh, holds the process of sedimentation 
in the upper portion and anaerobic decomposition of the accumulated sludge at the bottom. Septic is a sewage that turns dark and smell unpleasantly due to anaerobic decomposition. Uh, this is the cross section of a septic tank. <clears throat> General conditions in constructing uh, a septic tank. The septic tank is usually constructed in rectangular form. The reason is to retard and uh, the even flow of the waste that is necessary to avoid disturbing the uh, decomposition process inside the tank. The minimum inside dimension is 90 centimeters wide by 100 centimeters long. For effective decomposition of the um, organic uh, materials, a 120 centimeters depth of the liquid content is necessary. The inlet and outlet inverts of the septic tank shall be long-term sanitarity. The inverts are installed in the wall of the tank of at least 120 centimeters from its bottom floor equally spaced from both sides. The invert is extended down the liquid of the tank not more than 30 centimeters. This is to assure smooth delivery in the incoming sewage below the scum line. The bottom of the digestion chamber should be sloped to uh, one low point. The purpose is to gather the settled uh, organic materials into one mass to favor the uh, propagation of the uh, anaerobic bacteria. The septic tank should be provided with a manhole extended a few centimeters above the surface of the soil to overcome infiltration of surface water. This uh, manhole will serve the purpose of cleaning, inspection, and repair of the tank. Size of the septic tank for a family of six persons the minimum tank capacity should be approximately 1.3 cubic meters with a minimum size of 90 centimeters wide by 150 centimeters long and 120 centimeters deep. A very large tank is not advisable because the bacterial activity would be retarded. The size of the tank is proportionally based on the number of persons expected to be served. The volume of the tank has a rational proportion with the volume of incoming waste for bacterial activities to be in favorable condition. For residential installation, the practice is to allow 5 to 6 cubic feet of uh, tank volume per person. Thus, a septic tank that will serve a family of 12 persons must have a liquid capacity of 6 by 12 or 72 cubic feet or 538 gallons. One cubic feet is equivalent to 7. 148 gallons. Residential buildings to serve a large number of people. The um, ratio is 0.14 to uh, 0.17 cubic meter. Small residential house up to 12 person is 2 cubic meter. 
while for the school, commercial, and industrial institutions, we have 0 0.057 up to 0 0.086 cubic meter per person. Waste disposal. The uh, effectiveness of uh, plumbing installation depends upon strict uh, observance of the natural laws of nature such as gravity and the atmospheric pressure that affects the uh, whole system. The uh, drainage installation of a system comprises three major component parts. The drainage, the um, waste, and the vent, or simply called DWV. Drainage system and venting system will be uh, discussed separately in uh, these uh, succeeding modules. Drainage pipe refers to uh, an uh, installation that uh, receives and conveys uh, discharges from water closet with or without waste coming from other fixtures. Waste pipe, any pipe in a drainage installation that uh, receive the uh, discharges of any fixture except water closet and conveys the same to the soil branch, soil pipe, or house drain. Fixture refers to slope sink, lavatory, urinals, bathtubs. Soil branch refers to a horizontal pipe receiving discharges from the Water closet. Soil stock is a vertical pipe installation where the soil branches connects and terminates. Right slope or grade of the pipeline. The ideal position of a horizontal waste pipe is at 25% slope. Meaning, the pipe is installed in an inclined ratio of the 2 centimeters per meter length. Drop seal loss occurs when the uh, grade or slope of the pipe is increased from 2% to 4%. It is the loss or escape of standing uh, water inside the P-trap, same as water seal escape. Using the uh, size, using the right size of pipe, the waste pipe must be uh, sufficient in diameter to afford adequate uh, velocity of flow in order to make them as nearly self-scouring as practical. Scouring is to flush or wash out to remove dirt or grease by flowing through water flow inside a larger pipe is relatively shallow and waste does not flow on shallow water. Liquid flow must be about 50% of the pipe diameter, meaning the flowing liquid inside the pipe must have a depth equal to one half of the pipe's diameter. A too small pipeline, on the other hand, is subject to overloading of flow. The tendency is to create back pressure. Siphonage and uh, floor flooding is also the effect of too small pipelines. The uh, fixture unit 
the National Plumbing Code strongly endorse the use of uh, fixture unit value as waste load in determining the size of the waste pipe. Two types of waste pipe, direct waste, one with terminal directly connected to the plumbing system. Fixtures serve as urinals, but tubs, lavatories, sink, showers, etc. Indirect waste refers to a connection with the terminal not directly connected to the plumbing system. Fixtures serve as such as soda, fountain, bar waste, refrigeration, drinking uh, fountain, and also air conditioning system. Recommended size for waste pipes in sink is from 38 to 50 millimeter or one and one up to two inch in diameter. Slope sink, 75 or 100 millimeter if uh, floor mounted, 50 millimeter on walls with a clean out plug, slurry sink, 50 millimeter, pantry sink, 38 millimeter, factory wash up sink, 50 millimeter or 2 inch, bathtub, 38 to uh, 50 millimeter. Lavatory 50 millimeter, shower bath 50 millimeter, urinal 50 millimeter, laundry tub 38 to 50 millimeter, drinking fountain 32 millimeter, lavatory waste 50 millimeter, hospital fixture 50 millimeter, soil pipe. Soil pipe size to calculate the size of the soil pipe. Use the fixture unit data. Formulated by the Uniform Plumbing Code Committee. The code provides that the fixture unit be the uh, standard values in determining the size of all plumbing installation. The house sewer. House sewer. That portion of the uh, horizontal drainage system, which starts from the outer face of the building and terminate at the main sewer in the street or septic tank. Other codes define it as that portion of the horizontal drainage system, which starts 90 centimeter from the outer face of the building, sometimes called building sewer. The house sewer pipe is connected to the main sewer entering at 45 degree angle or directly from the top. Main sewer line financed and maintained by government. Those houses along the street with the main Sewer line are required to connect their houses to the house sewer or to the public sewer line. Size of the house sewer for cement or vetrified clay pipe is 150 or 6 inches. Plastic pipe 100 millimeter or 4 inches. Slope of house sewer, apply the formula height of the rise, so length times the percentage of the slope. So meaning if the distance, say it is 24 meters times 2%, so it is equivalent to 0.48 meters deep. So to find the slope in percentage, just divide height by its length. Then multiply it by 100. So meaning, if it is 0.48 meters divided by 24, it is already 
ventilation system. Vents for the uh, admission of uh, air and uh, the um, discharging of uh, gases, soil, and waste stock are extended through roofs and a system of air vents. Largely paralleling, the uh, drainage system is also provided. The introduction of air near the uh, fixture and in the case of uh, loop venting at the front soil, line breaks the possible siphonage of uh, water out of the trap. Loop venting, which permits an air and gases to pass in and out of the soil or waste uh, branch instead of uh, at its uh, fixture is fully effective in preventing the uh, siphonage of trap seals. Two types of uh, vents, main and main soil and the uh, waste vent or the main vent. Main soil and uh, waste vent this is the uh, portion of the uh, soil pipe stuck above the highest installed picture branch extended through the roof. It serves as the terminal for the main vent and the uh, other vents of the plumbing installation. Main vent, that portion of the uh, vent pipe system which serves as a terminal of the smallest forms of units and group fixture trap ventilation. The main vent is connected full size at their base to the uh, main soil or waste pipe and or below the lowest uh, fixture branch and should extend and diminish in size above the roof. It should be uh, reconnected with the main soil vent at least one meter above the highest picture branch. The um, main vent also serves as a relief vent for any back pressure. It must be free from upsets to allow free movement of uh, air under this uh, main vent are other different types of vent such as vent stop or stop vent. This is a general term for any vertical line or of soil, waste or vent piping main, the main of any system of uh, horizontal vertical or continuous piping is the part of the system that receives the waste and vents of backman from fixture outlets or traps directly or through branch pipes. The minimum size of a main vent pipe, the size of a main vent pipe must never be less than 3 inches in diameter or 75 millimeter. Vent pipes, any pipe provide, provided to ventilate the house drainage system and to prevent the uh, trap, siphonage, and back pressure. The required size of uh, vent uh, pipe is determined through the diameter of a stop vent, vent stop, or the relief vent. Shall not be less than one half of the diameter of the drain serve, but in no case less than one and one fourth inch and shall be determined from its length and the total fixture units connected thereto. The size and length of the vent piping must be as specified in the plumbing code adopted in the area of installation. Soil or west Wet, wet, wet piping lines should be carried above the roof. The roof extension of soil and vent stocks shall be run full size at least 6 inches above the roof coping and when the roof is used 
for other purposes than weather protection. Such extension shall not be less than five feet above the roof level. Picture traps to be protected against back pressure and siphonage. Every picture trap shall be protected against siphonage and back pressure and air circulation assured by means of uh, the soil or waste tap vent, a continuous uh, waste or soil vent, or a loop or circuit vent. Water closet and pedestal urinals to be uh, connected to soil and waste piping. Water closets and pedestal urinal shall be connected by means of flanges called to uh, cast iron soil pipe. Flanges wipe or soldered to lead pipe. Flanges soldered to copper pipe or if plastic pipe is permitted. PVC flanges cemented to plastic pipe. How far above the roof should soil or vent pipe lines be carried? All roof extension of soil and vent stock be run full size of at least six inches above the roof uh, coping and uh, when the roof is uh, used for other purposes than weather protection such extension shall not be less than five feet above the roof the required sizes of uh, vent pipe the diameter of a stock vent vent stock or relief vent shall not be less than one half of the diameter of the drain serve but in no case be uh, less than one and one fourth inch and shall be uh, determined from its length and the uh, total fixture units connected thereto the size and length of uh, vent piping shall be as specified in the plumbing code adopted in the area of installation so this table is intended for the vent stock and connected to its branches drainage waste and vent system drainage in uh, buildings consists of three major components sanitary waste, storm water, and specialty waste, such as toxic radioactive chemicals or other processing waste, sanitary waste, and storm water may be piped separately or combined, depending on the public sewer system to which the drainage is connected. Combined storm and sanitary sewer system was done in the early practice of discharging untreated sewage into the rivers this uh, practice no longer is permitted in the developing countries and developed country as well because of their pollutants specialty waste must be piped and treated separately a uh, Sanitary drainage system is thus a drainage system designed to carry away sanitary waste, including soil waste, from within a building to a public uh, sewer or to a sewage disposal plant. The uh, system may be designed to uh, flow by gravity or gravitational force without resorting to the use of mechanical or electrical powered equipment or it may be designed to flow under pressure by pumping the uh, gravity system is of course more reliable and more economical to operate and thus should be used whenever feasible drainage waste venting when the sanitary drainage system is connected to public sewer it is conceivable that sewer gas insects or rodents may enter the building through the system. To overcome this problem, all drainage equipment, including plumbing, 
fixtures connected to the sanitary drainage system must be separated by a uh, liquid seal trap that acts to separate the buildings from the sewer. Each trap must be adequately vented to the atmosphere to prevent the liquid seal from being siphoned. Our suck dry should there be a pressure differential created between the uh, building and the sewer due to the flow of the drainage. Because of the importance of venting, a sanitary uh, drainage system is often referred to as drainage waste and venting system. Some important terms associated with the DWV system and their definition are as follows. Stop is the vertical portion of the DWV piping system. Waste stop is the vertical portion of a waste piping system. So it stops the portion of the vertical pipe of a soil piping system. Stop down is the open-ended extension of a waste or soil stock above the highest horizontal drain connected to the stock. Branch interval is a section or of a soil or waste stock corresponding to one story in height but in no less than 8 feet. Vent is a pipe open to the atmosphere. Vent stock is a uh, stock that does not carry waste of uh, any kind and that is installed primarily for providing circulation of air to and from any part of the DWV system. Branch vent is a branch of the venting system. The required sizes of uh, vent pipes, the uh, diameter of a stock, vent stock or vent shall not be less than uh, one half of the diameter of the drain serve, but in no case be uh, less than one and one fourth inch, and shall be determined from its uh, length and the total fixture current units connected thereto. The size of the length of the piping must be uh, specified by the plumbing code adopted of the installation. So let us already topic the uh, what is the development length, the total length of a pipe measured along the center line of the pipe. So meaning the developed length is an imaginary line at the center of the pipe. The conventional universal accepted DWV system is essentially a two-pipe system cons consisting of a waste piping network that drains the waste and a separate venting network that drains the waste and separate network to equalize the air pressure in the system. The single pipe system has been used satisfactorily. Its application depends on relatively cost of labor and materials in the localities. Size of drain lines, capacity of uh, waste or soil drain pipes of the DWB system depends on two major factors. Slope of the pipe. The uh, fixture unit they serve all horizontal drain lines have uniform download slope in the direction of flow. If the slope is too small, solid contents in the liquid may drop out. If the slope is too great, turbulence flow and erosion of the pipe may occur. In general, the slope shall be less than one fourth per foot or approximately two percent slope. For 3-inch diameter, smaller horizontal lines 
one eight inch per foot, approximately a one percent slope for four inch diameter and larger horizontal lines. Sizing of uh, bend pipes. The uh, capacity of uh, bend pipes depends on three major factors. The size of the uh, stock, the number of fixture units connected on the stock, and the uh, developed length of the bend pipe. In addition, when uh, routing of uh, bend pipes is not uh, direct, Auxiliary vents such as relief vent, loop vent, crown vent will be required. Requirements may vary with uh, applicable codes. In uh, general, vents should comply with the following rules. Individual vents shall uh, not be smaller than one up the diameter of the required drain pipe served. No vent shall be smaller than one fourth inches in diameter. Vents exceeding 40 feet in uh, developed length shall be increased by one nominal pipe size. The nominal uh, pipe sizes are one and one fourth inch, one and one half inch, two inches, two and one half inches, three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches, eight inches, ten inches, twelve inches, and fifteen inches. The uh, design uh, guidelines for a uh, drainage waste vent system. The minimum size of DWV pipes is uh, governed strictly by the uh, plumbing code. When cast iron pipe is used, it is good practice to use minimum 2 inches pipe size for branch drain and vent pipes. Even though the code permits the uh, use of uh, one and one fourth inches and one and one half inches pipe, the WV piping design should be optimized through the uh, proper coordination of uh, pipe chase size and locations. The uh, layout of the toilet room is uh, usually initiated by the architectural plan. However, it is the responsibility of the plumbing engineer to determine the need for floor drains and to uh, coordinate with the uh, architect on the location of the cleanouts, etc. Includes waste shall be uh, provided for all equipment that contains toxic or harmful chemicals. The uh, drainage shall be piped to a separate uh, receptor for sedimentation, neutralization or filtration before being discharged into the uh, public sewer system. Equipment with uh, water at a temperature of 140 degree Fahrenheit or above, no high uh, temperature waste or steam pipe shall discharge into the uh, drainage system without sub cooling the effluent prior to connecting to the uh, public sewer line. All plumbing fixtures or drainage equipment without the uh, built-in trap must be uh, connected through an external trap. All traps must be uh, 
than that. All horizontal drainage uh, piping shall be installed in alignment at a uh, uniform slope not less than one fourth inch per foot for a, a diameter of uh, three inches and less. And not uh, less than one eight inches per foot for a diameter of four inches or more. A slope greater than one inch per foot should be avoided when the waste contain solid matter. See the table below. For building drain or building sewer. Cleanouts shall be installed at the base of uh, drainage stacks and at the beginning of uh, main horizontal branches so that the entire drainage, waste, and vent system can be cleaned and cleared from clogging. Grease, laden, waste, and uh, kitchen should be piped directly to the building drain or stack whenever practical. Provided a grease trap shall be installed for commercial kitchens prior to connection to a waste pipe. Waste containing oil, such as drain from a commercial garage, shall be connected through an oil interceptor. What grade or slope is required? in horizontal drainage piping. Horizontal drainage piping shall be run in practical alignment and at a uniform grade of at least 1.8 inches per foot for 4 inches pipe and larger and 1 fourth inch per foot for 3 inches pipe and smaller. This is the table the maximum number of fixture units that may be connected to building drain or building sewer. So see table below. Storm water system. Reasons for drainage. Rainwater. Collecting uh, on roofs, if not diverted, will run down walls and use the wall and windows as their outlet. So leaks spill on people who are approaching entry doors can cause uh, settlements by washing the soil away from under foundations. So this is also subjected to the basement walls to unnecessary groundwater pressure and possible leakage and erode the uh, surrounding grounds often this uh, figuring the landscaped areas roof leader Roof leader is uh, commonly unknown as conductor or downspout. It connects the uh, roof terminal to the uh, storm drain. Roof leader is either outside or inside downspout. Size of the roof leader. Roof leader size could be uh, easily determined by the use of the following table. So this is the table size of roof litter and gutter. See uh, table below. Size of the uh, roof litter, sample problem. How large is a uh, downspout required to drain a shed Roof having dimension 10 meters by 20 meters wide. 
So the solution, step one, find the total area of the roof. So take note, it is 10 meters by 20. So it has 200 square meters in area. Step two, referring to our table above under the column, first column, 200 square meter is within the limit of 166 to 335. Therefore, specify 100 millimeter dust spot for rip leader. Step three, a storm drain is this big, impractical, in actual practice, and it is necessary to find two smaller pipes having a whole area equivalent to 100 millimeter or 4 inches. So step 4, area of the shed roof is uh, 200 square meters divided by 2. Thus, you have 100 square meters. Step 5, referring to the table above, under column 1, 100 uh, square meters is within the limit of 76 to 165 square meter. Therefore, specify two pieces of uh, 75 millimeter or is equivalent to 3 inches diameter pipe instead of 1 100 millimeter pipe for its downspot or roof conductor. The module for complete plumbing sanitary system application. So we have something to do with the inclination, a slope, or gradient, or fall. This is usually expressed as head in meters length in meters. So this is the inclination already. It means that H represents the head divided by the length. The inclination is also called grade or slope or other in other words it is also referred to as pitch. The uh, McGuire's rule for an incline is 1 in the distance L. First, Take the diameter of the drain to be laid. And then the second step is just divide this by constant 2.5. For a 100 millimeter drain pipe, we get 100 millimeter drain pipe. We have a ratio of 1 is to 40. Or it is equivalent to 1 divided by 40. It's equivalent to 0 0.025. So take note, 2.5 is constant. This incline 1 is to 40 means that for every 40 meters length of drain will fall over a distance of 1 meter. This will produce a self-cleansing velocity for all 100 millimeter drains. The self-cleansing velocity is uh, usually accepted as 1 meter per second. Therefore, for a 150 millimeter drain, we find 150 millimeter drain pipe is equivalent to 1 is to 60. It is uh, equivalent also to 1 divided by 60 equals to Point zero one six four. So take note, two point five is constant. From these ratios, simply dividing forty into one can derive a multiplying factor. This will give a factor of point zero twenty five or one hundred millimeter drain pipes. And one is to sixty or zero point 0, 167 for a 100 millimeter drain pipe. A 100 millimeter drain pipe is to be laid over 
a 10 meter distance, calculate the total amount of fall. We have 0 0.025 times 10 meters equals to 0.25 meter or is equivalent to 250 millimeter. Example number two, if we have a 150 millimeter drain pipe connecting a uh, discharge stock to a manhole, which is 20 uh, meters length, calculate the total fall of the drain pipe. One is to 60, is equivalent to 0 0.067. So 0 0.167 times 20 meters long is equivalent to 0 0.067. 334 or 334 millimeter. So this is already the depth of the pipe from the source of the water. Sample problem, the um, allowable tensile stress of uh, steel pipe is 750 PSI. It is to be used to supply where hot water to supply the system with a working pressure of 300 PSI. What schedule of pipe should you specify? So the formula is N schedule number 100 times uh, P, which represents P is service pipe in PSI, divided by S, or S is the allowable tensile stress in PSI. The solution is N100 times 300 PSI divided by 750 PSI. So therefore, you're going to recommend here 40 or use schedule 40. The minimum size of the main vent pipe. The size of a main vent pipe must never be less than 3 inches in diameter. Where should they clean out be placed in a vertical waste or soil stock? A clean out that is easily accessible should be installed at the base of each vertical waste or so I'll stop. Another question. Buildings must have a soil and waste stock. So every building in which uh, plumbing fixtures are installed shall have a soil and waste stock extending full size through the roof. What is the required running diameter of a trap for urinals? It is recommended that you're going to use one and one half inch in diameter as the minimum requirement. The uh, diameter should not be less than one and one half inch. Another question, joints required in vitrified clay pipe. So joints in vitrified clay sewer pipe should be firmly packed with oakum or hemp and shall be secured with cement, mortar, or a spotty compound at least one inch thick. 